Canal 54, su canal de opinión. Ah, uh, quita mi cara, vamos a mi cara, por favor. Ok, please remember, in this world, human rights is very important. Your right of freedom of expression, freedom from fear, from being abused or beaten, of having your telephone spied on, and of being threatened, as many people here in Costa Rica are being. For the last six years, the presidential police, La DIS, La Dirección de Inteligencia in Seguridad, under the direct orders of Oscar Arias, have been ex uh, extortionando, extorting, blackmailing, beating thousands upon thousands of individuals in this country. Unfortunately, all of the newspapers and all of the media in Costa Rica is controlled and or owned by the Hermanos Arias. Truth and information, unfortunately, do not exist for the public. A newspaper's responsibility is to provide information to the public that is accurate and that is true. Here in Costa Rica, the citizens do not have access to true information. Everything is controlled by the secret police or LADIS. Again, the secret police receive their orders from Oscar Arias, Laura Chinchia, Rodrigo Arias. There have been many human rights abuses and in the next weeks, in the proximal weeks, we are going to see again many of those human rights abuses. Approximately last year, we began in this program with the help we, were, we are working with the here, which was we are working with the OIOTA, which is like the FBI. We are working with ISE, which is like the Secret Service. We are also working with the Supreme Court. We receive information. We talk with witnesses. We see and talk with victims of the presidential police, extortion, torture, and blackmail. Many, many cases of this, but you never see it in the newspaper. So, this evening, we have a short introduction to Carleton University, who is watching this program in Ottawa, Canada. So, vamos a su pantalla, and please remember, human rights is fundamental to our lives, okay? We are asking uh, in 12 de septiembre, Oscar Arias has been invi invited to Carleton University to receive an honorary degree from Carleton University. We are asking Carleton University to please reconsider, to help stop the Oscar Arias Presidential Police Ladis of human rights abuses and the degradation of human beings. We have asked for help with Jose Miguel Insula from the OEA. We have asked help from the Pope and from the Archbishop Barantes. We, we are having, we're looking for help. Please help stop the beatings and extortion of citizens by the presidential police, Ladis, Mr. Andrew Randolph and Irana Bokova. We are please asking Carleton University to please say no to the Oscar Arias human rights abuses, spying, violence of human beings. Carleton University, please do not give an honorary degree to the dictator Oscar Arias. If you do, this only provides him with a shield, un escudo, to continue with his activities, okay? We have also have a petition with these uh, human rights courts in Washington, D.C. We are asking Rosanna O'Reilly Rootney, Kim Matheson of Carleton University, Peter Ricketts, Herb Gray, to please consider our petition of peace to not 
have a dictator in your university who is known here in Costa Rica for many human rights abuses. In May 1st, Primero May, uh, my, uh, the first day of May of 2011, Oscar Arias, Rodrigo Arias, Laura Tinchia, and Conal Nacion, the newspaper here, they, attempt, they had a short golpe de estado, throwing over the government. Fortunately, the individuals, people took to the streets and they stopped this golpe de estado of Laura Chinchilla, Oscar Arias. This is an article from the Seminario. And uh, vamos a mi cara, muy rápido. If you saw at the beginning of this program, there was a new announcement about this program, or, uh, the, the, the opinions of this program are not part of 54. Tonight is the first time they have put this in this program. It is because Ladis, they listen to all of our conversations. They spy on thousands and thousands of people and they extort thousands of people. You will see this in the following weeks. Vamos a su pantalla. So here, this is from, okay, okay, un, un segundo, vamos, continua. So, please remember, uh, this is from the University of Costa Rica. The University of Costa Rica recommends dissolving the presidential police. These are not my words. These are the words of the executive committee of LADIS. Oscar Arias, Laura Chinchilla, Rodrigo Arias, and Lo Luis Paulino Mora. They give orders for espionage, persecution, harassment, and intervention of telephones. And how is this possible? This is possible because the presidential police, LADIS, are in direct contradiction to Article 11 of the Costa Rica Constitution. They can't be held accountable, they report to no one, and they assume no responsibility for what they do. This means the Supreme Court is in the pocket of the Hermanos Arias. The Supreme Court will not investigate LADIS. It's contra los leyes. This is from an article. It is not my article. This is from the extra. The presidential police, Ladis of Arias, assault congressmen here in Costa Rica. The Dis are instruments, this is from the Congress here, not my words, from the Congress here in Costa Rica. Oscar Arias, Laura Chinchilla, Rodrigo Arias, and Ladis, which is the presidential police, are instruments for the flagrant violation of human rights of the citizens. These are not my words. This is from the New Human Rights Report, which is being covered up by all newspapers here in Costa Rica. And this says, inside of the judicial power exists a police body, the presidential police, more or less with a secret vocation, ultra repressive. So we are saying, please, Carleton University, Oscar Arias and the presidential police, Ladis, this is from the University of Costa Rica. They persecute, harass, spy on citizens, and they blackmail Chantahiyat citizens and business individuals. So please, um, Costa Rica, in our web, please sign a petition of peace and hope. Defend human dignity. Stop the abuses of human rights of Oscar Arias and the presidential police. Human Rights International, you can write us at human rights at gmail, uh-huh, gmail.com. Uh, yeah, gmail